Hi all, welcome to the new episode of Tech Insert. We are going to make a very cheap and easy 18650 lithium-ion battery charging station which can charge 5 batteries at a time. This can be extended to 11 batteries but for the time being we are making it for 5 batteries. The power supply is capable of handling 11 batteries. For reducing the cost we are fixing this in a carton box of HP brand webcam. This is enough because this is not going to carry heavy weight. Except power supply, everything we are fixing at outside the carton box, including the charging module of the lithium-ion battery. This will reduce all the headache of fixing LEDs at outside, then heat, heat dissipation of the charging module, etc. I am using single 18650 battery holder and for each holder we will fix TP4056 charging module. I will give the buying link in the description. One charging module will be of type C and all others you can make use of micro USB. The cost of type C is a bit high comparing with micro USB. All of the latest mobile chargers are of type C and it can handle high current too. Since we are fixing the charging module at the outside, you can charge by connecting the charging cable of the mobile. Also, we are fixing a power supply module inside the box so that you can give an input of 6 volt to 35 volt, which the power supply will be reduced to 5 volt. The power supply is capable of carrying 15 ampere max. Each charging module will consume 1 ampere max while charging. That means this power supply can be used in 15 charging modules. In short, 15 batteries can be charged at a time. Regulator chip 7805 can handle maximum 1 ampere. LM317 can handle 1.5 ampere, LM350 can handle 3 ampere. So we cannot use those regulator chips for this purpose. Another way is to parallelly connect 10 7805 regulator chips for 10 charging module where the cost will increase. So better way is to use current boost variable power supply. I have already uploaded a video of this variable power supply in my channel. I will give the video link in the description box. The circuit diagram is given at the end of this video. This diode will prevent the accidental polarity change in the input section. I forgot to solder LED indicators for input and output.
If you have any doubt or suggestions related to this video, then please comment on this video. And if you believe that this video is useful, then please click like button and share this to your friends who love to make this charging station. Please subscribe to my channel for getting more videos like this. That will be an encouragement to me for making more things like this to you. This is Tech Insert signing off. See you in another video. Till then, goodbye and please take care.